everybody, it's Pamela Dodge with Avant Garde Insurance Advisors. This is another episode of Avant Garde Insurance Insights. I'm not doing a Q&A today, but I am going to be talking about a topic that everybody is probably thinking about uh, with people being furloughed or losing their jobs or employers being forced to close down. We are all thinking about money and we're looking at our budget and we're thinking long term. And so one of the things that we are thinking about is our auto insurance. And so I want to talk about a couple of things that you can do to save money on your auto insurance. Uh, Maryland Insurance Administration is uh, in discussions with our insurance companies to discuss ways that they can help you. Uh, but to give you quick um, ideas or tips or tricks to help you, I wanted to talk about things that you can do now. Uh, one thing you should be doing since you're probably not working um, in an office and you are working from your home, you should probably get uh, on the phone with your insurance agent and talk about if your vehicles are rated for pleasure use versus commute um, or in some cases business use. So that might be one thing that you can do to save money on your auto insurance now is to move to a pleasure rate since you're not commuting or going to a business. Uh, you also are going to want to look at um, maybe doing a pay in full or setting up an EFT plan. Uh, some insurance companies give some really great discounts for signing up to pay your premium in full or setting up an EFT plan where it drafts automatically from a bank account. Uh, we do sometimes talk about um, deductibles and um, I'm not going to shy away from that topic. Uh, we encourage that if, you know, all else fails, you're still looking for premium savings, uh, we can bump up deductibles. We do recommend a minimum of $250 for comprehensive and $500 for collision. Uh, you can bump up up to $1,000 and get some significant premium savings. Um, but the caveat is, is can you afford those deductibles should you have a claim? Keep that in mind. Uh, when you're selecting the deductible and also look at the amount that you're saving. If the savings is minimal, it may not justify the higher deductible, but it is certainly an option. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, telematics or usage base rating. Uh, I know we all have shied away from it, um, but right now it might be a really great tool to be using since you're not using your vehicle so much. Um, plugging the device in, uh, using a phone to record data about how you're driving, uh, speeding, um, stop signs, uh, that kind of thing may be beneficial to you and you get a credit immediately for signing up for those programs with most insurance companies. So you should certainly entertain the option with your insurance agent and discuss how their program or that insurance company's program works. Um, but it might be an option temporarily while we're going through this pandemic, this crisis to save you some money. So again, uh, a couple of things you can do is get a pleasure rating on your vehicles that you're not commuting or using, uh, talk about EFT and painful options, looking at increasing deductibles if that makes sense for you, and then discussing telematics and usage-based uh, programs for your vehicles during this time period. So this is Pamela with Avant Garde Insurance Advisors. I hope everybody stays safe and stays healthy. Um, and next week, I want to talk about what you should be considering or thinking about since you're working from your home. I hope everybody sees the video uh, for next week or comes back. And thank you for your time.